The second subtopic, actions of antibodies. Um, do you still remember the third line of defense, which they include the lymphocytes producing antibodies? Now, this is the one, and their actions are specific. So, antigens are destroyed by antibodies through several mechanisms, and that are agglutination, neutralization, precipitation, opsonization, and lysis. Now let's look at this. This is agglutination. So as you can see now, this is antibody. It's like the Y shape and you can see this um, uh, on the cells here. These are the antigens. So these antibodies will coagulate the pathogens. That means they clumped together. Right, they are the specific antigen complements with the specific antibody, and there you see they are related, they are coming together, and we say they are clumping, they are agglutinating. So, this makes them an easy target to be trapped and destroyed by the phagocytes. Remember the phagocytes, the white blood cells that is going to engulf them by means of phagocytosis. Now let's look at neutralization. Neutralization. So these antibodies will bind with the toxins. Now this is the toxin. It binds with the antibody. Uh, these toxins is produced by bacteria. And upon binding, upon binding, this antibody will work to neutralize the toxin, making it not harmful. Okay. Now the third one is precipitation precipitation where the antibodies will react with the dissolved antigens to form an insoluble complex which we call it as precipitate and this again makes it easier to be destroyed by the phagocytes right meaning in initially those antigens are here uh, at the plasma they are un insoluble but what will happen is that they will bind with the antibodies and hence they become insoluble. This now was uh, uh, soluble, sorry, this now was soluble. And then upon binding, this will so, uh, form a insoluble complex or we say precipitate. Is that clear? Initially, the antigens are soluble or we say dissolve. And upon binding, they become insoluble. So it's like clumping together again. Now, what is opsonization? All right. Ant antibodies will combine with the antigens. So this is the antibody and these are the antigens, the yellow ones. So opsonin antibodies will combine with the antigens. All right. So for phagocytes, to recognize the antigens and destroy them. Okay, so the phagocytes will trap the bacterium that has been identified by the antibody marker. Alright, so it makes it, it acts as a marker for the phagocytes. So upon, upon binding, antibody bind with the antigen. A marker is being formed, they are easily recognized by the phagocytes. Okay, what is lysis? Antibodies will combine with the antigens. This is a mistake just in the other day, I think. Alright, so antibodies combine with the antigens. So the yellow ones are the antigen and this Y shape is the antibody so upon binding what will happen is that this bacteria if it is singular this bacterium will then be broken down and decomposed and therefore it is no longer harmful so these are the actions of antibodies on antigens